<laughs> I snorted it. PSI, Fruit Explosion. 10% off, Colossus 10. What's going on guys, I'm Josh and this is Kyle and today we're going to be talking about the PSI and RPM new line of pre-workouts. One contains sources of caffeine whereas the other doesn't. This gives them the titles of stim and non-stim and we're going to break them down and review them both. With that being said, we're going to start with the PSI non-stim pre-workout. No stim? What's the point of having a pre-workout without stims you idiot? Oh trust me, just you wait. So, you heard it right, it is non-stim. What it's gonna do is it's gonna have very little effects on your adrenal glands, your cortisol, and it should have very little effects on your sleep. Okay, you got me listening, you got me listening. It also includes antioxidants such as taurine, tyrosine, and alpha-ketobutyrate, which is gonna allow you to push harder in the gym for a longer amount of time. All right, so the beauty of this is that it actually increases nutrient and oxygen delivery to working muscle, which helps you by hydrating your muscles to give you incredible pumps, making you look thick, solid, and tight. I know, you're probably already sold, so if you guys want, we do have a 10% off code, Colossus 10. This review is slightly biased in the sense that we are sponsored by HP and proud members of EHP, but if you guys want to check out our pre-workout video, feel free to do so. We're putting it up to that test so you can see that it is in fact an amazing pre-workout regardless. All right, so the beauty of this is its main goal is to improve mental focus and cognitive ability, not necessarily to get your brain fired up like the use of caffeine. So because of this, you can actually go to bed earlier and not have to worry about when you're taking this and taking too much of this. So we're gonna talk about some of the ingredients that make PSI such a great pre-workout. First is citrulline malate. And what this does it act is it actually reduces lactic acid buildup and gives you that dare pump. Ugh. Next we're gonna talk about L-arginine. Alpha keto glutarate. That's a mouthful, but together they do wonderful things. According to a study done by the ISSNCP, they found that these two together really help with maximal output, especially in one rep max situations. So a lot of people use pre before your one rep max. This might be the pre workout for you. Also included are amino acids that help with protein synthesis and energy expenditure, and these are known as egmatine sulfate and taurine. This also includes a third amino acid, L-tyrosine, which is known to really be beneficial to help with cognitive performance and mental awareness. And the absolute beauty of the L-tyrosine is that this exists without any jittery or crazy over-the-top side effects. Another one. Another one is beetroot powder. This also helps with endurance and can potentially help with the pump through its use of ability to transfer blood flow. Personally, I love this. I was with my buddy and we had a dare, and I, he told me to take it before bed. I thought there was caffeine originally, but turns out there wasn't. I actually was able to sleep like a baby, which is so cool. This didn't happen to me, it happened to Kyle, but hey, I'm gonna sell it like my own. <laughs> Aside from that, uh, I find it just a really good blend. It, uh, good serving size, they give us a lot. As you guys can see, they really hook you up for the price, and it's a very affordable and effective pre-workout, especially a great alternative to the stim ones. I really like the non-stim, I'm very caffeine sensitive, so this is my pre-workout of choice. <coughs> it goes right up your nose. <coughs> So now we're gonna talk about taste. Blue raspberry is the one that I've been using the most and it's one that I enjoy as well as Josh enjoys the most. Next, onto the passion fruit. To be completely honest with you guys, it's a little bit too sweet for my liking. I'd agree, fruit punch is kind of fruit punch. Yeah, too. and then the third one, which is strawberry kiwi. You can never go wrong with strawberry kiwi, right? That is bank, that is, that's the bomb. You need to order that one. Yeah! All right, number two, your stem, RP Max. This is also a banger. Now the beauty of this is this is your stim one. So it's gonna have all your stimulants, all your different forms of caffeine, as well as your beta alanine, which if you guys remember from the pre-work video, is a tingly. So this is the big guy to get you fired up, the one to use in moderation, and we're gonna take it under the knife as we go through ingredient by ingredient. So this pre-workout has a total of 220 milligrams caffeine, 150 of which coming from the actual caffeine, 50 coming from the guarana, 20 coming from the yerba. This is the question you guys are probably all wondering, how much caffeine is in this pre-workout? So there's your answer, 220 milligrams. What's up guys, so I'm gonna briefly talk to you about the ingredients in the RP Max pre-workout. Um, so one of the things I actually like to do is I like to take the PSI pre-workout followed by the RP Max right before. Um, I only do this sometimes, but one of the reasons is because I like to receive the benefits from both the ingredients in the pre-workouts. Um, we listed the PSI ones, now I'm gonna talk about the RP Max 
max ones quickly. Um, so you guys all know what beta alanine is. We talked about it. Actually, one of the things I would recommend is to one of the things I recommend is checking out our last video on YouTube. We go into like the detail of the ingredients on pre-workout, um, some of the best ones there are, and why we think so. Uh, we also talked about taurine, which the PSI has. Um, here are the caffeines that we have listed, L-tyrosine we've already touched on. And one of the things I love about uh, EHP Labs is, um, you know, you see all the ingredients here. We've got the vitamin C, um, we've got vitamin Bs, and then we also have like all the references and stuff. And uh, this is just like one of the blog articles on their website. But yeah, you see what you're getting uh, within their pre-workouts. Here's one we actually haven't talked about before, which is choline by tartrate. Um, it says it helps to delay fatigue during strenuous uh, prolonged workouts, and it plays a role in fat mobilization that is a lipotropic, lipotropic agent crucial for nerve health and signaling very interesting like I said they have like all their research and um, and all their references down here so definitely recommend this pre-workout I love it uh, give it a try now on to the flavoring I'm gonna keep this short and sweet my number one by far is the mango cooler I don't know what it is I guess I'm just like a mango kind of guy but I highly suggest this one Number two on my list is the citrus margarita. Not as good as the mango in my opinion, but not far behind. Um, and then the strawberry daiquiri is pretty low on my list to be honest. Not the biggest fan and mainly because um, I just think it's too sweet for my liking. Uh, these two, you know, seem to fire me up a lot more, whereas this is just kind of like I'm more distracted by the sweetness of it, and uh, I'm just not the biggest fan. So there's the flavoring. Um, uh, once again, guys, everyone's going to enjoy different flavors to a certain extent. Everyone else has different taste buds. People enjoy different things, but those are just my two cents. So we've been using these for about a month. I personally am going to have to say the non-sim is my favorite. However, 220 milligrams of caffeine is the perfect amount out for me that's how much I like sometimes I only do three-fourths of a scoop it's a little much I'm a bit more sensitive Kyle himself he likes to do about one and a half he's a little bit on the caffeine heavier side he's <sighs> less intolerant and it all depends how you synthesize it but that's completely fine so all in all we're gonna give both these pre-workouts a big thumbs up If you guys are interested in buying the product, Colossus10 is our discount code. Make sure to use that, support the channel, support us. If you guys have any questions about anything that's actually inside the pre-workout or any of the flavors or anything, shoot us a message, we don't bite. Comment down below, do your thing. This is your first video where you guys have seen us checking us out. Thanks so much for coming here, watching our video. Please subscribe for more great content like this. Team EHP for the win. We'll see you in the gym when you guys are crushing those new PRs on your new pre-workouts. Peace. Pre-workout. You've heard from a friend from a friend who knows a guy who knows a guy that pre-workout is the thing to have to get your bench to 300. You Call me Haymaker. <laughs> Always going big. Yeah, you know the kid. Call me Haymaker. <laughs> 95 or 95. 95. I was gonna do something stupid. I should have, but I don't even know what I was gonna do. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs>